All right, people. I'm out here at the State Lake. Fixing to hook up the lithiums for the first time, give them a test run. Do a speed test on the motor to see if losing that weight from the lead acid if I actually gained any actual speed. And I'm gonna do me a little fishing. But this will be the initial review of the 100 amp power, 50 amp power, Power Queen lithium batteries. And some of this footage will be used for a one year review of the Hankai. But I'm getting them hooked up and we'll be on the water shortly. Okay, I just did a little quick run. I'm not noticing a speed increase with the lithium batteries, but for this little boat, I guess you could, could say I'm getting on plane faster and I'm maintaining that 5, 5.1, 5.2 miles per hour a whole lot easier than I was. Uh, I am going against the wind but I'm going to step out, do a little bit of fishing, put the camera back where it's supposed to go, and see if I can't do me a video. Alright people, this is my review of the Power Queen 100 amp power and 50 amp power lithium batteries after a full 7 hours on the water. It was nice. I really enjoyed not having to move no big heavy lead acids. It did feel like my trolling motor got a little bit more thrust. But that could just be because I was not there for a while. But I do know with the weight loss, I'm gonna, it's going to feel like it's got a little bit more thrust. Uh, my outboard didn't gain any speed from the weight loss. But I'm not done playing with it. I've got to retrim, lower the trim a little bit on the outboard. And I think it'll, I think I actually think I can get a little bit faster. All in all, no problem with the batteries after a full day. They did what they were supposed to do. They was nice and, you know, I really can't complain. I should have bought them sooner. The only complaint I do have is not with the batteries. You know, I run a 55-pound Minn Kota Taroba with eye pilot on the front, and it's pushing 60 pounds, if not more. That trolling motor weighs more than my outboard and this 100 amp power, so it's a little front heavy now. When I took the two 31 lead acids out, I got a little front heavy. So I've got to move both batteries to the back so I've got to get some more wire got to do a little bit of moving around but both batteries have to go to the back of the boat knowing that now it would have been nice to get the 100 amp power premium the little mini but all in all, I got what I got. I can't complain. The charger is just a 10 amp charger from Power Queen. The 
both batteries came right at 50% state of charge. And say they've done good. I really don't have anything I can complain about. Other than now that the weight load in the boat has changed. I've I've got to do some rearranging. So for now, what I might do is move the 50 amp hour to the front, put the 100 amp hour in the battery box. As long as I'm not out on the river in the current, that 50 amp hour would do my trolling motor all day. As long as you're not getting bogged down in the grass, you're staying in clean water, you know, you're keeping your prop clean, nothing wrapped up in it, that 50 amp hour, you know, as long as you're not... You're just casually fishing that 50 amp hour running. We're running the trolling motor all day, man. It's good. But yeah, that's my initial thoughts. I should have bought them sooner. And yeah, for the price, I would recommend these to anyone else. If you're looking to upgrade to lithiums, you know. Power Queen is not the cheapest. They're actually nowhere near the cheapest, but they ain't nowhere near the most expensive. They, they are a very budget friendly. I have not seen anybody complain about them. So, I'm just hoping I made a good investment and I'm going to continue to use them and see how they go. Uh, I do have to get a BMS. I'm looking at the one from Power Queen all because it's theirs for these batteries. I just don't know if it's waterproof and I want to put it on the boat. So if y'all know of a good solid waterproof battery management system BMS thing, put it down in the comments. Let me know. And any changes I will upgrade and let y'all know in a video or whatever. And hey, maybe it's a good year. I mean, I lost 95 pounds. These are 35, those two lead ass are 31s, weighed 130 pounds. I lost some weight, homie. I lost 95 pounds going to these two. They are worth it. These two right here are worth it. But yeah, it's late. I gotta get these chars up. I gotta go out of town no more. And hopefully I'll be back on the water soon. Enjoy.